no one would expect such a collection to be here. I am Beth Kilmarks. I'm the curator of rare books and special collections at the Binghamton University Libraries. And Tilly Losh is one of the um, archival collections that I've been working with. And it was just by luck that we found the whole connection between her and Downton Abbey last spring. Tilly Losh had been married to the 6th Earl of Carnarvon, the owner of Highclere Castle, which is known as Downton Abbey. Tilly was born in Vienna in 1903 and was a ballet dancer. She was a dancer for at least 10 years before she uh, made her debut. And being in the theater world, she caught the eyes of you know, various theater directors and producers. She met Max Reinhardt in Vienna. He had worked with her as a dancer and had used her as an actress in his famous miracle play. Max Reinhardt's materials came here in the early 70s and then shortly before her death, she put in her will that her collections of manuscripts and photographs and artwork would also come to special collections because of the Max Reinhardt collection. We have materials basically from the late 1930s up until her death. We have correspondence, letters. We have found many instances that truly parallel Downton Abbey and Highclere Castle. During the war, valets and butlers left the state to go to fight in the war. And so you have that letter from Tilly where she asks Portia, you know, what are you going to do without your manservant? You also see um, with the housekeeper, Mrs. Hughes, she suffers cancer and has to go to London uh, for treatment. Um, Highclere Castle's housekeeper, Mrs. Sanderson, um, suffered from Hodgkin's disease and had to go to London for treatment. During the wars, slum children were evacuated to Highclere Castle and in Downton Abbey, you see um, the, the, the castle turned into a hospital. So the more we delve into the collections, the more that we see um, the high number of coincidences between actual life and the show. The correspondence also shows that she knew everybody in Hollywood. There wasn't a famous person that Tilly didn't know, and correspondence that we don't have from that person, starting with Fred Astaire, Marlon Brando, all the way through the alphabet to um, Orson Welles. I mean, the wealth of old Hollywood that's in the correspondence is just another aspect of study that people can look at. Now, in addition to the correspondence in the collection, we have photographs. Photographs taken of her by famous photographers, such as Cecil Beaton. We have also over 350 paintings of hers in the collection. Tilly had a very traumatic divorce from her first husband, Edward James. And it was after the divorce that she suffered from severe clinical depression. And she spent time in the sanitarium. And that is where she picked up painting. I would say 90% of the paintings we have of hers here in Binghamton do represent her life. At first, when we had the collection, um, it's not well used, but just the wealth of information and research that's available at Binghamton University is, is, is just waiting to be discovered.